Speaking to Dan Murphy, our colleague, the senior advisor to Belarus's opposition leader said he fears for Pratasevich's life. Unfortunately, no information coming from Minsk. Unfortunately, he still doesn't have lawyer. No information about his girlfriend, neither. We know that he was detained yesterday, and usually after the person is detained, he was brought to interrogation. And it could take uh, days, it could take even a week, and this is the harshest time. They're trying to get so much information as possible. They're trying to get into your social media accounts. They're trying to force you to tell something against yourself. So I'm really worried about his safety, about his health, and even about his life. Details about Roman's background are still emerging. You're very close with him. So what does the international community need to understand about this young man and who he, who he is? Uh, Roman is, is um, uh, the person, the disruptor, who was always challenging the regime. He was always against the dictatorship. He used to work in journalism. He used to be an activist. Uh, he was always fighting for justice. And um, he was the symbol of the, of the, the young person who disagrees with the, with the government, who wants changes. He was always very politicized, and he gives example to many other young people that you should always fa fight, even if the situation is um, 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 pessimistic, even if nothing uh, happens, even there is no hope, you still have to fight. So that's why you believe he was a key target for Lukashenko? Uh, exactly, exactly. But he's not the only one. Right now there are 3,000 criminal cases open against young people, against journalists, teachers, doctors, everyone who are priced against the authoritarian rule last fall. But Rahman was one of the most vocal. And I think uh, the journalists, the reporters, they are the main targets for the regime right now. And you mentioned that you now have fears for his safety. What do you believe is happening to him? First of all, he was detained in the airport and directly taken to KGB. In Belarus, KGB is still called KGB. In Belarus, KGB, this is the place where people disappear. This is the place where people lose health and sometimes people are dying. A few days ago, another political activist died in prison. So again, let's hope for the best. I hope he is healthy and good, but I, I know for sure that KGB will not let, will not let him go um, uh, easily.